Welcome back to the Express at Planet Organic in Coquitlam. Put more veggies in your diet. Check. Exercise more. Check. We know the new year is a time for goal setting and for meeting those goals. But don't forget to balance it out with a little bit of fun. On today's road trip segment, we're hopping the ferry for Victoria to tour the Maritime Museum. Travel along with us on the Quality Assured Collision Road Trip as we explore the many marvelous attractions and activities of beautiful British Columbia. I've been working and living in Victoria for the past two years and I'm still exploring the region. So whenever somebody says go check out this museum or this show or this area, I have to check it out. So for my road trip, I'm going to step back in time and take a look at Victoria's history and past. I'm a fan of artifacts and just old stuff that has a story. So museums are for me. One museum that's been around for more than 50 years in Victoria is the Maritime Museum of British Columbia. But it didn't start off as a museum. Well, it had a long history beginning being a provincial courthouse. This was the first purpose-built courthouse in British Columbia in 1889. This courtroom is still used for tax court, concerts and gatherings. It briefly became Victoria City Hall in the 1960s, but by 1965 it became the official home of the Maritime Museum. Virtually everything is from BC. There are a few things from elsewhere in the world that have been brought here to help tell the story. The first thing is that it represents uh, the British Columbia, it represents the West Coast, it represents everything maritime. The other thing is we are in Victoria, the capital of the province, and being right on the inner harbor, we can really showcase what's happened here and what's going to happen. Imagine sailing around the world in this small boat. Now this is a, another vessel that made its way around the world. This is actually a dugout canoe that's been modified, added onto it with a top structure to make it seaworthy for, for around the world sailing. Now the one thing most of us know about boats and ships is that speed is measured in knots. But where did that unit originate? It's a chip log. It was a little device that was tossed in the water and would catch in the water, pull out a string behind it very quickly, as fast as the boat moved. Along the way, knots were tied every so many feet and one would count the number of knots that went out in a particular time period. While we use scuba gear nowadays, imagine diving to the bottom of the ocean in this heavy suit. Or how about harpooning a narwhal whale with this massive gun? This is known as one of the oldest operating, or perhaps the oldest operating, cage-type elevator in North America. Okay. One of the cool features of the museum is this elevator. The intricate attention to detail and the elegance of it is amazing. But it's not all old and extinct. This museum has some recent history, some you may even see today. Check out the BC Ferries exhibit or the Naval Gallery. Other than all the gadgets and gizmos and the old boats that make up the maritime history of British Columbia, there's also, you know, the knives and the guns used by pirates. And of course, this little thing right here. Wouldn't want to be the guy hung on this off a boat. So lots to see and do. The Maritime Museum of BC is open from 9 to 5 daily. In Victoria, I'm Sachetta Singh for Quality Assured Collisions Road Trip. Entertaining and informative, the Quality Assured Collision Road Trip. Weekends on Shaw TV. Always something new and exciting. Next week on Road Trip, we're going to a North Vancouver driving range. Now, finding a place to play golf, that's pretty easy. Finding a location for your perfect dream wedding, well, that can be a challenge. It needs to reflect the bride and the groom, and of course, it needs to reflect the budget. But don't you worry, the wedding bells have a plan. Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Wedding Bells. I just got engaged. And I did not. We're on an adventure. Plan the big day. Aubrey, I can't decide where to get married. A hotel, a vineyard, a barn, an art gallery, a hot air balloon. The choices are endless. Okay, let's face it. Some options are better than others. One great option is a golf course. One of the biggest reasons people come to us for a golf course is for the outdoor patios. You can have your ceremony, your photography, and the reception all in a one-stop shop with free parking to boot. Free and overnight parking. Yes, because you got to drive and then you want to celebrate. Next, we spoke with Genev and Sarah from Dream Group Productions. Wedding planners extraordinaire. Let's face it, on your wedding day, things happen. 
I can't, I can't, I can't find the ring. Your pants, man. Give yourself the gift of hiring a wedding day coordinator to hand over all of that stuff that's going to be happening on the day to a professional. Clearly, we're not professionals. But they drew us into some wedding day scenarios anyway. Go. Where's your bouquet? I forgot it in the limo. Kaylin, give me your bouquet. Here you go. Apparently, that's the right thing to do. And now it was my turn. I've got it under control. I've got them all in order. They are ready to go. Olivia's first. Kaylin's second. She's a maid of honor. This is too stressful. This is too stressful. I don't like it. You and Charlie are going to walk down the aisle. I was feeling pretty confident. Actually, you're going to go second. I just remembered. I'm not a good I'm not a good wedding planner. With children at ceremonies, of course, they are the heavenly little part of the ceremony for many people, <laughs> but they rarely do what they're told. More cases than not, the child is going to decide halfway up to take a seat with one of the guests. You hire child actors. And then it was time for the magic to begin. The path of life is so narrow that in order for two people to walk down it together, they must become one. Really like that quote. I do. I do. We weren't off the hook yet. You send a groomsman out to go and pick up the wedding cake in the morning. They don't really know what they're looking for. Good news, we got the cake. Bad news, it says, happy birthday, Pedro. Sarah has an idea. I have a magic idea. We will fix this. I'm sure Dream Group has a better arrangement that they could have come up with, but we're beginners. And then the girls gave us two last points of advice. You think about what your priorities are. It's very easy to get overwhelmed and caught up in everything wedding. Make sure that your budget is in line with your expectations. While taking a ride, Sarah thought about her wedding priorities, and I remembered mine. Okay, one of the great things about getting married at a golf course is there are a lot of men around for your single friends. That's why I'm doing it for you. <laughs> for Shaw TV, wear the wedding bells. Event planning is one of the fastest growing career options and you can find it now at lots of technical schools and colleges. Any other interesting and fun careers out there? What about being a puppeteer, an astronomer, or a nutritionist? We've got all that and then some coming up. Up next on The Express. Okay, Paul, we're going to go with your top picks for being healthy, starting with uh, healthy cleaning supplies. Healthy picks from Planet Organic. One day I will be free. Sleeping Beauty on the North Shore. The Express. This is your local voice. Welcome back to The Express at Planet Organic in Port Coquitlam. Okay, Paul, we're going to go with your top picks for being healthy, starting with uh, healthy cleaning supplies. <laughs> Well, maybe not healthy for you, but healthy for the earth. Um, <laughs> Sounds good. We sell products that are clean, don't have any added extra chemicals. Um, the reason I really like this product is it comes and you buy one bottle for life. Okay. It comes with an individual refill and after that you just buy the refills. You plug it in, fill it up with water, give it a shake, there's your next one. It's an all-purpose cleaner, floor cleaner, also a bathroom cleaner. Uh, one of my favorite products because I don't have to put any more plastic into the earth. So it's environmentally friendly and it's economical too, hey? Absolutely. One bottle for life, I love it. This stuff looks good enough to eat, but I'm not supposed to eat it, am I? No. <laughs> now, why do you love this product so much? Um, I love it for a couple of reasons. One, because it's all natural and good for you. And what a lot of people forget is your biggest organ on your body is your skin. So right. it's one thing to put good things on your inside, but you also have to think about what you're putting on your body. It's one of the best-selling products out Ooh. there for body care. The soap lasts much longer, and of course, the best thing about it is it smells great. It does. This is lemongrass? Yeah. And I can really smell the lemongrass. So no grass. chemicals or anything in it. Good. And most popular of all is the scent. You just got to find the one that you like the best. This one smells like oranges, but it says uh, calendula. It's calendula. Okay, calendula. Yeah. All right, hail to the kale. Now, why do you love this product so much? Well, one, it's full of antioxidants. It's very, very good for you. It's got lots of different vegetables in it. It tastes fantastic. This is probably one of our best-selling items, especially in our deli. It's great for lunch, great for energy. 
Very Thanks. good. I like it. And I know another big thing too, if I'm going for breakfast, the holy crap, you guys are excited about that too. It's something that's been very, very high in demand. Uh, we've got the product in now. Um, it was on Dragon's Den, yeah. did very well, and all of a sudden no one could buy it. But yeah. now we've got it in in full force again. And the week after it was on the show, we must have had about 30 phone calls the very next day. And it, why is it so popular? Gluten-free, lactose-free, um, everything free. It's, <laughs> it's pretty much good for you. It's good for your internal, for your digestive, full of fiber. And it's quick and easy to have breakfast. Good. I'm just going to stick with the kale. Kale. The kale. How come you're not eating it? It's not lunchtime yet. For more diet ideas, on January 26th, they're holding a gluten-free seminar here at Planet Organic in Port Coquitlam with a holistic nutritionist and chef. And if you go to their website, you can find out about other upcoming free seminars. Right now on The Express, our seminar is on the ever-expanding universe from the H.R. McMillan Space Centre. The expansion of our universe. Everything is moving uh, away from the center of the, the universe. No, it's moving away from us. Us, moving away from us. So it's not because we're angry or we smell bad. Um, it has to do with uh, going back to the beginning, the whole Big Bang theory, right? And you've got a really simple way of demonstrating that with uh, this balloon. So on this balloon, we have several spots here. Right. And these can represent galaxies. Okay. Or more importantly, clusters of galaxies. Because galaxies themselves and their neighbors, they don't, they're not affected by the expansion of the universe. They actually have gravity that will bring them together. So these can represent large clusters large of galaxies. Clusters. So, and we're talking billions and billions of stars in each. You know, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Billions of galaxies right. in each. Okay, I'll blow this up. Wow, so apart from you feeling lightheaded, what just happened there? So did you notice that all the space between the galaxy clusters here actually got larger and larger? But the, ga the galaxies themselves? They never got larger. No. Because they're actually bound by gravity. So the distances between the further one got further away and faster and it expanded faster. Now what's going to happen at the end of this whole thing? Once, once this expands all the way, is it ever going to contract again? Well, recently, as 10 years ago, many astronomers thought that it would expand and then it would come back into something called the Big Crunch, Ooh. essentially the opposite of the Big Bang. Sounds tasty. Uh, not really. No. Okay. So now, astronomers don't think that that will happen, and more likely it will be something called the Big Freeze, when everything will keep on expanding and expanding and expanding, until the distances between these galax galaxies will become so large that you won't actually see any more galaxies. Oh. Yeah. And uh, that will happen in uh, trillions and trillions and trillions of years from now. Will it make a, a farting noise like this? I don't think so. No. Oh well. well. Can't wish for everything. Cool. Well, that's a great way of explaining how the the, the expansion is working and just using a, a simple a simple balloon. Thank you very much uh, for the express from the H.R. McMillan Space Center. I'm Cam Cronin. I'm Reminder Samra. And hopefully we've expanded your brain a little bit today as well. If you'd like to win a family pass to the H.R. McMillan Space Center, be the first correct emailer now, express contest at shaw.ca, to tell us the name of the theory that the universe might just collapse. And good luck to you. And now it's time for our spotlight on events happening around the Lower Mainland. Calling all game industry professionals, students, and anyone really passionate about games. Get inspired and connect with leading designers and producers who have created the world's most successful games. Vancouver Theatre Sports League puts on an improvised Broadway-style musical every Wednesday on Granville Island. Hear heart-rendering ballads, rock anthems, show-stopping choruses, and plenty of laughter. With a minimum donation, you can cut and style your hair while supporting the Wigs for Kids of BC. Help children requiring hair pieces during treatment for cancer and other serious illnesses. And for more ideas on how to make the most of life on the Lower Mainland and meet those New Year's resolutions, remember you can watch all of our shows online at vancouver.shawtv.com. I'm Johanna Ward at the Planet Organic in Port Coquitlam, and on behalf of all of us on the Express, thanks so much for watching. We're going to leave you with scenes from a puppet show on the North Shore, and we'll see you next time. It's called the Briar Rose. <laughs> they named you after this flower because you are as gracious and as noble and as beautiful as this flower is. Smell it. <laughs>